Okay, so now we're going to look at where you find these muscles in somebody's body. And if you look down here, these two little dimples, they, are, they overlie the posterior superior iliac crest. So the iliac crest begins here, and you can feel as it runs along, I'm going to draw it, and it comes round like that. And what we're going to draw is the posterior spine. So here is the sacrum, carries on down like that, and then you can feel the little posterior spines as they come up. And here. So that would be L5, 4, 3, 2, and upwards. The erector spiny sit close to the posterior spines and they make up this mass of muscle. So the erector spiny in this case are the multifidae, the deepest, the semispinalis, and the longissimus which arises from here and runs more vertically up the spine. The iliocostalis arise from here and they run up the spine like that and they give little branches to the ribs. So here's the twelfth rib here, there's the twelfth rib and the um, iliocostalis arises from here runs up like that and then we'll give a little branch to here to the next rib and so the muscles running along like that slightly away from the first mass the large mass of muscle which is the original erector spiny when you get triggers in the erector spiny they tend to be local and the so your pain will be just where the trigger occurs and may refer slightly laterally like this but not a long way and um, there are some oddities that occur with the with the especially the iliocostalis where you may have triggers in the lowest iliocostalis, so that's where the 12th, 11th and 10th ribs are and they can be perceived down here and the iliocostalis at the top would, will, if they're in the upper thoracic area, will refer up into the neck. But otherwise the large mass of triggers in the erector spiny are local and refer only slightly out to the side which gives you an idea. So somebody who's, who, who, who is very uncomfortable and you then, and they're, and they're pointing at a localized area, you're quite confident, you can be quite confident that, that and it's close to, to the spine, arising in here, you'll be quite confident that there will be trigger points in the erector spiny muscles. So the way you find the, the triggers, now this is this is tricky because normally the principle is that you um, it, say you have a longitudinal muscle, you run across the long axis of the fibers to feel for a tight band and then you move up and down the tight band until you find the trigger. So for iliocostalis out here, that's what you can do. You can run like this, you feel that there's a, 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 you'll feel it, and you'll feel it like a little guitar string. You find it, and then you move up and down, and the person will say, ah, that's, and you'll feel a little swelling. Once you find the swelling, you can treat it. As you come down here, then it becomes a little bit more tricky because the fibers, the deep fibers, are running almost that direction, the more superficial fibers are running like that. So 
my practice is that what I do is I um, kind of move in a arc running across what would be horizontal more uh, 45 degrees and vertical I'm running in an arc like this feeling for a band once I feel the band and it may be difficult with the deep muscle because it's quite small and then and I can feel a, a thickening then I focus in so let's just talk about how to treat the trigger and the way you treat the trigger is using there are a number of options but the simplest is to use a the ischemic pressure principle so you find the trigger and if you've got somebody with a very big very strong back you may need your thumb or you could use your finger I always help one finger with the other and may use both hands but this finger is doing the work I find the point I press hard enough I'm I ask my, my patient is that the sore point he'll say yes or no once I found it I reduce the pressure enough so that there is no pain but I can still with a little bit of movement if I press in it'll be uncomfortable and I also feel the nodule under my finger once I, I get the pressure just right he's comfortable then we both just breathe and relax and breathe and relax and gradually I increase the pressure and I say tell me if it hurts and usually over 90 seconds the, 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 the nodule melts away he has no pain I'm able to push hard as I like and then it's gone so that's treating the triggers of multifidy semispinalis longissimus and iliocostalis all of these you can treat in the same way